Welcome back, it's the second installment of the Duff McKagan Bass Rig Series. So far in the series, we've discussed the bases used in Guns N' Roses. But you already know that because you've watched it, right? So if you want to know about Velvet Revolver, that's coming up in part three. And a link to that will be in the show notes down below. But you're here for amplifiers, so let's do this. I think it's fair to say any fan of Duff's will recognize his amplifier setup, or at least the name, Galleon Kruger. Duff has always been a user of these amplifier heads and cabinets. Using his advance from Appetite to Destruction to buy a 400 RB head and two 410 cabinets. Not long after, he upgraded the head to the 800 RB. This rig lasted him through Guns N' Roses right up to Velvet Revolver, where he toured with a 2001 RB head. By the tour of the second album, Libertad, he changed his cabinets to 4x12 Neos. After Velvet Revolver, it looked like he tried a few different setups, juggling between 10 and 12 inch speakers, as his cabinets never really settled. In a 2014 interview with Seymour Duncan, he stated he made a change to Fender Bassman amplifiers. Whilst GK amps are solid and reliable, they sound inconsistent on stage, venue to venue, and that Fender amplifiers solved this issue for him. His current amplifier is a 300 watt Super Bassman tube amp. Alongside this, he has been seen with a Fender 6x10 cabinet, but more recently a full 8x10. Pictures from Duff's Twitter show he's using the volume of the Fender head and combining it with a GK MB800. GK are famed for their built-in distortion and no doubt he's using that to run his dirty signal. Duff has stated in the past he isn't really an effects person and only uses them to enhance the song. He has however stated an interest in the UK band Magazine who were known to use Chorus. He since tried to emulate that sound. He'd done this by using various chorus pedals, initially an Ibanez CS9, and then upgrading to a rack-mounted Yamaha SPX90. Between these effects, you can get the quintessential Duff sound. Duff has also mentioned using an MXR chorus, which has a different flavor and more parameters to tweak. Other effects that have sparingly been used are an MXR El Grande bass fuzz, which are used in the studio for Velvet Revolver. In a live setting, however, he uses the B channel on his Galleon Kruger head, as we mentioned. Duff strings have always been made by Roto sounds, specifically the swing bass set. Originally made famous in the musical revolution of the 60s and inspiring many classic musicians of that time. They're made of stainless steel and brighter than a nickel string in comparison, which aren't as loud but are warmer. On the subject of tone, let's talk pickups. Duff uses a Seymour Duncan hot stack in the bridge. This provides an increased, thick mid-range response. A great improvement to an already subtle, quiet, stock single coil. There isn't any information that mentions Duff switching out the humbucker in his Jazz Bass Special specifically. Looking at his Fender Duff signature model, they've given it a vintage style Alnico split coil. So for the price tag of this bass, you would hope it is as close to the original run of a Jazz Bass Special as possible. It is somewhat safe to say Duff did not swap out the humbucker on his Jazz Bass Special throughout Guns N' Roses. If you know differently, let me know in the comments. All right, if you don't know, now you know. For the use of a Jazz Bass Special, the growl of a Galleon Kruger amplifier and a sparkle of chorus, you too can sound like Duff McKagan. A full list of Duff's secrets, his basses, his strings, effects pedals and amplifiers can all be found in the show notes linked down below, as well as the full specifications we couldn't include in the video. That's for the completionists amongst us. In the final installment of the Duff McKagan bass series, we talk about Velvet Revolver, Loaded, Neurotic Outsiders, Hollywood Vampires, and more. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe as I would really appreciate your support and it helps the channel to grow. If there's a rig rundown you'd like to see in the future, let me know in the comments. We're now taking requests. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in part three.